Hey guys, um, one more new waveform for you guys. Um, this is just a screen capture of the waveform that I took a while ago. I just happened to find this in my scope in my database. Um, it looks like I was playing around with an in-cylinder tra pressure transducer here. Uh, please excuse the um, god-awful signal here. It's not as clean and smooth as a um, Pico scope would provide, um, and my settings were probably not correct either. So um, again, I don't do this on a daily basis, so I don't, uh, I, I haven't gotten good at using it yet. Um, I should be doing it, we're playing with it more to get better at it, but uh, the weekends are all taken uh, are taken up by my YouTube editing video, editing videos, etc. So and during the work week, I can obviously not play around with my Pico, uh, well I don't have a Pico, sorry, my pressure in cylinder pressure transducer, which is a Pico part, but um, I'm using it with my snap-on as you can see. Um, getting back, if you remember watching my 1.8T waveform cam crank, and uh, I had a long discussion about where actual top dead center is, or was, um, this would actually confirm it, um, or fairly close to confirming it. Um, I was saying that top dead center was around the 11 tooth area. So if you count here, actually we'll count on this side because actually they're, they're pretty much similar. You can hardly tell here. I think there's two teeth in between here. So we'll just start start from the big one. We'll include counting the big, the rise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Between 11 and 12, uh, is where I said that top dead center was and uh, this is a AVH engine so four cylinder 2.0 liter four cylinder and it looks like it uses a similar uh, obviously the crankshaft is a similar pattern as the 1.8T and the uh, 1.8T also had a rise in the window here or the um, uh, the cam signal I do have the colors backwards here, usually the crank I have in yellow, channel 1, and then the cam in green, channel 2, but for some reason here I, I uh, swapped the connector, so I, I'm sorry about that if that causes confusion, um, but if you're familiar with a crank signal, a cam signal, you obviously know right away which is which. So anyways, the, the pressure transducer, as you can see the rise here, um, this is where theoretical top dead center is. Um, as combustion pressures peak, um, this is where the pressure is, where top dead center is. So I just thought that this waveform would be good for you, for you guys to um, have in terms of seeing a known good waveform for a two liter engine. Um, sorry, it's a static picture, but again, it doesn't really matter. Now that you know, you just count the teeth, just like you did on the 1.8T, and you want to look for the the rise in these signals, uh, or start of the rise at the same place. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you start here, or if you start in this area here. So again, hopefully this waveform is of use to you guys. Um, we can also have it without the blue. Actually... I can turn it off I think yes so here blue is gone so we'll make it more visible this this way as well so hopefully this will help somebody uh, if and when you get a, a 2 liter engine in with a camshaft sensor position fault code and the sensor is producing a good signal if the sensor is producing a good signal but you have a fault code camshaft sensor position sensor fault code then uh, the next step to do is to check your timing uh, you don't need to, you don't really need a scope to verify that. All you need to do is line up the camshaft to top that center mark and then look to see if the crankshaft is also at top that center. But if you already have a waveform, then you just compare it with this one and that'll tell you whether or not your timing, uh, your timing belt has moved, skipped, uh, or if your camshaft is out of tooth or so. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm rambling too much. Sorry. Bye bye.